This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred down at Fight Camp today. I'd like to be joined by Ebony Bridges. Ebony, first and foremost, <laughs> got into the UK on Monday. We can grab a handshake if you want. There we are. Welcome to Fight Camp. I know. Must be buzzing now. Two days to go back in the ring in front of yep. the fans and on the zone as well. Must be getting excited. I am so excited. You know, um, every day I get more and more excited. You know, arriving here in the UK, I was like pumped. And now being here, seeing it, walking past the ring, it's like, uh, I can't wait. So yeah, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Now, you were doing the Zooms the other day, you did your media rounds, and there was a bit of talk about the fact you've been doing some time out in Philadelphia. I think it's something yes. you've done before as well. Yes. I wanted to start there. How did that all come about in the first place? You deciding to go and base yourself out there and, and get some knowledge out on that part of a, a big boxing city as well? Yeah, yeah. So obviously Philadelphia is known for its boxing. You know, it is a boxing city. Um, but I did sign with a manager um, in America um, in 2019. Had a fight over there. Um, when I had a fight in America, um, I wanted to acclimatize to America. So, um, you know, my manager um, organized training for me there in Philadelphia um, to get ready for my camp in America. And I liked it. I enjoyed it. I learned so much and I felt really good with it. So, yeah, it just became like, you know, this is a good thing and this is where I want to go for fine tuning and stuff. And, yeah, this time I ended up doing a whole camp there. So, unreal. Now, is that a, a bit of a welcome thing to have been away and being able to focus on just boxing, particularly when we spoke the other day about not being able to go and see your family yeah. and stuff? Is that a, a big benefit of being out there as well? It's just home boxing, yeah. home boxing, full focus. Oh, definitely. I mean, um, it's it's very, very rare at home. Like, I even do that, you know, because I'm working in between. I'm teaching, I'm training before school, teaching, training after school, seeing people, you know, going all around. But literally, yeah, um, Philadelphia, there's none of that. It's gym and home. Um, I think the balance is good, but I think it's definitely good for focus and just, you know, for resting and, and recovery. Because I don't, I don't ever recover. I'm just go, go, go. So I think the recovery was good. In terms of Beth Connolly, let's talk about her. She's game. She's tough as they come as well. Are you expecting her to come straight at you from the opening bell Saturday night? Yeah, definitely. I think Beck has a point to prove. Um, you know, I think, especially her having the first time ever having like a proper camp, I think she wants to prove that, you know, what she can do under a camp. So I'll definitely be expecting her to come out firing. And I'm just going to do my fight, you know what I mean? Um, it's eight rounds, so we'll see. Fighters don't like to say that they're chasing a stoppage or they want to force a stoppage, but is it on your mind that you would be the lightest person to, to stop Beck Conley if you managed to do so? And the fact that the only two people that stop are Tasha Jonas and Terry Harper, two very good fighters. Yeah, definitely. If I stop Beck Connolly, it's going to be a big statement, um, 100%. Um, and again, yeah, like you said, we don't go looking for, for knockouts. You know, going and looking for knockouts is not the thing you want to be. But, you know, you, you have a game plan to set up to finish it early. You have a game plan to to get that knockout, you know what I mean? Um, but if it doesn't if it doesn't come to that, then I still have the right game plan to win. I just wanted to go back to your last fight, Ebony. Obviously, you knew what you were capable of and you know what's within you as well. But was it nice to show the wider boxing public that as well as your fighting ability, you've got that heart and you've got that guts as well? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Oh, 100%. Um, I was like just blessed, like very grateful that I was able to get enough eyes on that on that fight um, so that more people could actually see what I'm about and I can prove a lot of the doubters wrong and get a lot of new, a lot of new fans. So yeah, unreal experience for me and I'm happy to be back. So you have a bit of unique sparring experience the other day. So you're grappling with Alan Babic. What was that like? <laughs> yeah, the savage, mate. I'm his match. He's made his match with me, you know. Um, I'll give him, you know, we're both pretty savage, but um, no, nah, it's good. You know what? He's, I love Alan. He's, um, his character's amazing. You know, he's a tough fighter. He's very exciting as well. And he's all about entertainment. And, you know, um, behind the cameras, even the cameras weren't there, we're always mucking around and, and that, and I always try and get him some sneaky dog shots. But, um, yeah, no, it's good. Me and Alan, um, you know, we get along real well. So I'm really excited to watch him fight. Well, Ebony, you built up your UK fan base. It's no secret you've got a lot of fans over here. They're going to be able to get in for the first time. You told me there is quite a lot coming to watch you specifically as well. That must give you a bit of a lift knowing you're going to be able to have them here, you're going to be able to see them there watching you. Yeah, definitely. Um, having people at this fight now, I'm um, being able to hear my name and, and you know screaming, just knowing I've got that support here, I think is going to be... Um, is, is, is just another experience for me because I wanted to fight in the UK because I wanted to fight in front of the fans and hopefully this is the first step to even more fans you know um, I saw that Leeds is having a huge fan like huge fans 20,000 or something at Leeds so you know like this we're opening up and I'm looking forward to fighting in front of all my fans that are able to come so then I wanted to ask you about Ebony. Twitter went into a bit of a storm yesterday. Gareth A. Davis was comparing you to Muhammad Ali. I saw you interacting with it. What did you make of that? Yeah, I did. Um, yeah, I mean, look, I, I get what he was saying. Um, and, I, and if you look underneath the corner, if you, if you take away Muhammad Ali, like, I get what he was saying. Um, but, yeah, um, I appreciate the compliment. Um, I love Gareth Davis. I think, he's, I think he's lovely. I think the thing about him is he loves individuality. He accepts it. He doesn't judge anyone, and, um, I, and I uh, appreciate that about him. And I think um, his point was true, you know, I, I am very, um, I, don't, I don't give a shit, you know what I mean? And um, I do my own thing, I am a free spirit, and I think that's where I was looking at comparisons. However, you know, 
I'm definitely nowhere near Muhammad Ali, um, and I haven't done the amazing things that Muhammad Ali has done, you know, for like a whole, a whole race and all, all the things that he did. But it's just I, the things that he was kind of relating it to, yeah. Like maybe take out the Muhammad Ali and it would have gone off a little bit differently. But hey, it got views, it got people talking, and maybe that's what it was about. <laughs> So you've got views, you've got people talking since the Shannon Courtney fight as well. How much have you noticed your profiles increased since that fight? A lot, yeah, huge. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, it's unbelievable. I think I have one of the biggest followings in women's boxing. Um, I think besides Katie Taylor, I have one of the most, maybe closer shields, I have the biggest following on social media. As for fan base outside of social media, I know that I'm pretty well known. I'm in mainstream a little bit now as well. You know, people say, me, oh, you're the girl with the eye. <laughs> yeah, at least they're not saying, hey, you're the girl with the I'm like, yeah, because that's what it was like before, but now they're seeing about the eye because they watched the fight, yeah? So, no, it's great. Um, you know, I'm loving it. I just love it. Now, I think the press conference is about to start, Ebony, so I'll leave the final word to you. For those tuning in on DAZN, those watching this interview, what can they expect to see from the Blum Bomber Saturday night? Um, tune in to DAZN and Matchroom Boxing on August 7 because it is going to be fireworks. It's going to be exciting no matter what, no matter who I'm fighting. When I'm in that ring, it's exciting. So please tune in. It's going to be an amazing night, great night of fights.